guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 WWE to AEW debuts. And he has arrived here alongside Vicky Guerrero. For this list, we'll be ranking the most memorable moments where wrestling fans were pleasantly surprised to find their favorite superstars jumping ship to all elite wrestling. What was your favorite surprise AEW debut? Let us know in the comments. And as always, if there's a wrestling list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AskJBro and let me know. Welcome to Jeff Hardy. We saw the writing on the wall for a long time, but in March of 2022, it finally happened. While Matt Hardy wasn't always the best influence on his young charges in the AHFO, it was still a surprise to see them turn against him so willingly when Andrade called for a vote on whether or not they should kick him out of the faction. He would be down so nasty that even his enemies Sting and Darby Allen couldn't just sit back and watch. But when even their help was not enough, it was time for his brother the Jeff to finally become all elites. He laughed about him taking a moment to play up the crowd with a little dance while his brother was getting brutalized. He was nonetheless an awesome moment to see him make the save to the sounds of the classic Hardy Boys theme. his incredible run in NXT. That all changed when he became all elite and allowed us to once again bask in his glory. Facing off against private parties in Cyan Cassidy, Keith Lee instantly made a huge statement with the most incredible bill flow we've ever seen. After making quick work of his sire, the display that Keith Lee put on by taking on from a party in the post-match proved that once again, he was well and truly limitless. <laughs> Number 8, Brody Lee. I don't understand. Let me make this one a little more personal, a little more tangible for you to feel. Man, talk about missed opportunities. We'll tragically never know how far the dearly departed Brody Lee could have gone during his AEW career since the man's life was cut short at only 41 years of age. Still, this doesn't mean that we can't celebrate the man's life and in-ring prowess, since not only was Lee dominant in the E as Luke Harper, but the intimidation factor associated with his exalted to one persona felt fearsomely legitimate. It wasn't a hoax, it wasn't a lie, it's a fact. There is an insult to one and it's just a Beyond this, his dominance as the TNT champion and long undefeated streak were also super impressive and offered further credence to Brody Lee as one of the best. Seven FTR. Another, another truck plumped to Daly's place. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Three of a revival, or if you prefer, fear the revolt, follow the rules, or even a certain expletive we're not going to repeat in this video. It doesn't really matter how you spell out this tag team's acronym moniker. What you have at the end of the day are certified top guys. FTR debuted on AEW Dynamite as baby faces, all good guys, but this didn't last long, as Tax Harwood and Cash Wheeler simply went better as devious and devastating tag team specialists. Their smash mouth style harkens back to the glory days of tough guy southern wrestling, and it wasn't long before their amazing talent was recognized with the tag team title run. Like them or hate them, there's no ignoring FTR. Number 
six, Christian Cage. It's sort of fitting that both Christian Cage and his former tag team partner Edge are currently banged between the ropes, enjoying new leases on wrestling life. However, while both men returned back to the WWE initially, Christian eventually moseyed onto Greener AEW Pastures, debuting at AEW Revolution 2021, with a contract signing that signified that Christian Cage was back. Right off the bat, Cage benefited from AEW's collaboration with Impact Wrestling by beating Kenny Omega for that promotion's world championship. Additionally, Christian asserted a mental role of sorts for Jurassic Express, putting all of his skill to use on both the mic and in the ring. Five, Malachi Black. The former Alistair Black surprised everyone back in the summer of 2021 when he appeared in AEW after being released by the WWE only 30 days prior. This is due to the fact that Black's former employers include 90-day no-compete clauses for their talent they let go. Only they made one giant boo-boo. They never updated Black's contract from his time with NXT, which only had a 30-day non-compete clause. As a result, the occult and heavy metal influenced wrestler was able to appear on AEW Dynamite to much fanfare and acclaim. Known as Malachi Black, his reputation was still intact. His skill set razor sharp and his impact undeniable. into the WWE Hall of Fame doesn't mean you have to hang up your boots. Nor if you do, no one's old sting. That's because this pro wrestling icon is currently enjoying a renaissance, performing at a level that exceeds his disappointing WWE run from the mid-2010s. It was a homecoming for Sting when he returned to Turner Television for the first time in nearly 20 years. a WCW lifer, a sword of the old school wrestling world who nevertheless seems to be turning back the clock with his current AEW run. Seriously, Sting doesn't need to be doing any high flying at his age, but we'll be damned if we're not happy to see it. Right, that's something in mind, Uncle Dick. Look at the outside. Number three, John Moxley. Oh, Brooks was one of the earliest WWE names to make AEW his home, joining Chris Jericho as a sort of seal of quality for the then unproven new company. The former Dean Ambrose debuted at AEW's very first pay-per-view events, assaulting Jericho and Omega, while effectively setting the stage for what would be the first real competition for the WWE in years. Moreover, Moxley was finally free of the shackles that were put on his character by the E's creative writing team going all in with a hyper-aggressive style that was more in line with Moxley's work on the indie scene. Since then, Mox has climbed the mountain and back again, proving to everyone his certified main event status. And now he's got you to set up paradigm shift! Number two, Brian Danielson and Adam Cole. AEW's all-out pay-per-view from 2021 signified the debut of not one, but two massive stars that formerly called the WWE home. Adam Cole's reunion with his friends in the Elite was followed up by Brian Danielson showing up in the ring, a double team that effectively sent the all-out crowd into hysterics. Although the latter would initially work as a babyface, both would see their biggest success as ring antagonists, with Danielson performing in some brutal matches alongside the likes of Eddie Kingston. Tried to push in the impact, but there is no pushing up there on that top turnbuckle. Oh, it is in trouble. It is in great danger. Oh! 
Cole continues to prove he's one of the finest storytellers in pro wrestling, as evidenced by his outstanding feud with Orange Cassidy. He's got Be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you are on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. CM Punk Phrase wrestling mystery gets tossed around a lot, but the night of August 20th, 2021, was something different, something special. It was the night where CM Punk made his triumphant return to the world of professional wrestling to a crowd who was more than willing to welcome him back with open arms. It should be said that Punk did tip his toes in the water with a brief return to the E as an analyst for their Fox program WWE backstage. This didn't last long, however, and it was Punk's AEW debut that left grown men in tears. And happy AEW fans leaving an arena with fresh ice cream bars in their hands. Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Sting, CM 
Donald Trump. Those are like my favorite restaurants. Anyways, comment down below your favorite restaurant.